Hi, you may have seen in a previous video where I showed how to design this little mitten card in Scan and Cut Canvas. Well, I decided that I would cut the matting layer for the mitten and the cuff and I would cut it in paper and use that as a template to make this little gift card holder. So inside here is just a, a regular gift card and it just fits in neatly. Now, in the process of the video, you'll see that I actually forgot to sew the top of the cuff to the front piece of fabric, but I've used a bit of extra fabric glue. I actually used a bit of fabric glue to hold this in place while I sewed round it, but I've just added a little bit of extra fabric glue along the top here to hold it in place. And then I've used some glitter heat transfer vinyl just as a little decoration for the top. So it could be used as a tree decoration or as it was designed as a gift card holder. So that's today's video. I hope you like it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing here is going into the patterns and into my saved data and then into the machine and I'm looking for my mitten design that I've saved previously as a card. Once I've got that on the mat on my screen, I'm deleting all the parts that I don't need and I'm just left with the matting layer and the cuff matting layer. And these are the two elements that I'm going to group together and resize. And I measured my gift card and it measured about three and a half inches high by two and a quarter inches wide. So basically what I'm doing, I'm going into the basic shapes, adding a rectangle, which I'm going to rotate and I'm making the rectangle three and a half by two and a quarter. Once I've got that on my screen as a visual guide, I am then going back to the mitten and the cuff which I've grouped together and I'm going to resize it up in proportion until it's big enough to be able to put the gift card shape over it so I know that it will fit. Once I'm happy that I've got everything sized correctly I put a piece of plain copy paper onto my mat and I cut out the mitten and the cuff. Here I'm taking the cut pressure down to zero and I think my blade was set at about two but all the scan and cut blades are set differently so please don't take my blade depth as an indication for what to cut on your machine. So here I'm peeling off the paper pattern that I've now cut in readiness to transfer this shape onto my fabric. Here I'm deciding which fabric I'm going to use. I was originally going to use some white felt for the cuff, but I decided to use some white flannel instead later. So with my blue fleece, I am now drawing around the paper pattern with an air erasable scan and cut pen. This piece of fleece is folded in half, which enables me to cut the front and the back at the same time. I'm now just going to put a couple of pins between the two layers of fleece just to hold it together so that I can now cut it out with a pair of scissors. I probably could have got the scan and cut machine to cut this out but I just fancied doing a little bit of old traditional style crafting with some scissors. Once 
once I had my two pieces of fleece cut out and my piece of flannel for the cuff, I decided to apply a little bit of glue to the back of the cuff just to hold it in place. I trimmed away any excess flannel from the cuff. I chose a decorative blanket stitch and sewed around the outside edge of the mitten. I decided I would add a piece of ribbon as a hanging loop, so I cut a piece of blue ribbon about four inches long, folded it in half and put the raw edges into the top corner between the two layers of fleece and then just carried on sewing around the outer edge with my blanket stitch to hold it all into place. Once it was finished, I decided it needed a little bit more decoration. And also at this point, this is where I've realised I forgot to sew along the top of the cuff. So I added a little bit of fabric adhesive just to keep the top edge of the cuff together with the fleece. So I loaded up my piece of heat transfer vinyl with the shiny side down and the dull side up onto my standard mat, went into the patterns, chose a snowflake, sized it down and added a test cut. Once I was happy with the blade depth and cut pressure, I then proceeded to cut the snowflake from the heat transfer vinyl. So I've got my iron on at the ready and I am now just peeling away the waste of the heat transfer vinyl leaving just the snowflake behind on the clear plastic backing sheet. I'm just weeding out the last few bits of the heat transfer vinyl and this is how we're looking so far. So I'm now going to apply the snowflake to the front of the mitten with the shiny side up and it's been a long time since I've used heat transfer vinyl so I'm going to put the whole thing between two layers of parchment paper and apply some heat and some pressure just for a few seconds. I'm going to have a look at the design and doing this very gently because obviously the plastic is very hot and I'm just going to lift a corner to see if the design has transferred onto the felt. And at this point I decide I'll bring in a cutting mat and put it underneath just to add a little bit more stability because it seems to be a little bit spongy on my ironing board. So then I give it another few seconds holding down with the iron and then once I think it's firmly applied I remove the iron, let it cool down and I am then able to peel away the plastic sheet. I'm just giving it a little bit of a waft around to try and cool it down a little bit quicker and then I'm going to peel away the plastic backing sheet and hopefully leave the snowflake design behind. And there you have it, all made from a template cut in copy paper from an original design I showed you how to make in Scan and Cut Canvas, now turned into a gift card holder. Obviously with a matching card, if you want to put the card with it as well.